We're here with NYU following the second round victory over the Messiah Falcons 62-41 in the 2023 NCAA Division III Women's Basketball Tournament. Uh, if you wouldn't mind introducing yourselves and we'll get started. Uh, my name is Jenny Walker and I'm a senior. My name is Mary Kate Fahey and I'm a sophomore. Meg Barber, head coach. Coach, maybe an opening statement from the game today, second round victory and a convincing one uh, over the Falcons. Yeah, you know, um, just want to really commend the effort of Messiah. I thought, you know, heading into this game, we were really worried about this matchup. They just play so tough at home. Um, they're really well coached, and we knew they had a lot of weapons on the inside, and um, as well with uh, Reese Harden at, at guard spot, you know, who's really been lighting it up. So um, we definitely came in with a defensive game plan and a defensive mindset. I think that's consistent, you know, statistically, and I couldn't even tell you who scored tonight. It was a uh, it was just a battle for us to just get stopped so we could play our tempo, and I think we successfully did that to move on to the Sweet 16. I could tell you who scored for you tonight. It's the, yeah. uh, the, the yeah. <laughs> person to your right there. Um, Jenny, 24 points. Uh, not a bad effort in the second round of the NCAA <laughs> tournament. Uh, maybe just talk a little bit about your performance and what you're seeing out there. Um, I mean, I think the best part about this team is that we are a team, and you saw last night Natalie Bruns, 29 points. And then next night, I go for 24 points. And that's kind of what I think our strength is, that one night I might be off, but I know the other four girls on the court are going to pick me up. And my team was just getting me the ball, you know, supporting me. And of course, Coach Barber, you know, always instilling confidence in us, even after a rough game yesterday. Yeah, Mary-Kate, you hit the only three in the whole game. <laughs> really? Um, I know we talked a little bit in the press conference yesterday. Mm -hmm. The threes weren't falling last night. They didn't really fall as much tonight, but maybe just talk about that resiliency um, that the team had to kind of battle through maybe uh, a strength that wasn't there tonight. Yeah, you know, we're definitely a very, very good three-point shooting team. Um, like Erica Miller is probably one of the best three-point shooters in the country, or she is one of the best three-point <laughs> shooters in the country. So when we have shooters like that, um, our posts do a great job because they draw a lot of attention. So and as soon as they're double, they did a great job kicking it out. I think Jenny actually kicked it out on mine. So um, I think we just do a really good job of finding each other, and that's what makes us such a good team. Coach, my last question before we let some others jump in, but just talk about your depth. You had a player go for 29 last night. Jenny goes for, what did we say, 24 tonight. Um, I haven't gotten to watch you all season, but it seems like it comes from a lot of different places. Uh, maybe just talk a little bit about the depth on your team. Yeah, we can score. You know, we have a lot of different weapons. We're very well-rounded. Um, as Jenny alluded to, we don't really rely on any singular person, but we certainly look to exploit matchups when they're there. Um, I thought, you know, uh, Morgan Adams getting into foul trouble tonight, we really look to go to Jenny and just kind of exploit that matchup a little bit. Um, and another night, you know, if, if someone else is in foul trouble or we're looking to get to feed the ball to a hot hand, it can be anybody else stepping up. Um, as, you, as you said, you know, we didn't shoot the ball particularly well. I think we're in the single digits in, you know, three-point shooting. And I think it just shows the resiliency of our team and how well-rounded we are to score in other ways when shots might not be falling from the outside. You. Um, knowing, actually, that every time you go on the court now could be the last time that you play. What's the mindset after how you played yesterday and wanted to come and show what you can do? Just hold on to it as long as you can. I mean, it's really something special. And just being here in this moment, just it's, it is really special. And every time I go on the court, I know it's a privilege that a lot of people would die to be here for, and I just feel so grateful. And just playing with a passion and heart, like that's what our team does. And the five seniors, like we play for each other, and I know all the underclassmen play for us too. All right, Kate, you came in and you provided a nice spark. And like he said, you had the only three-pointer. It's <laughs> kind of strange not to see any three-pointers in a basketball game. But you, you played a solid couple of minutes. What's your mindset when you get into the game? You know, I think we have such a talented team that everybody has their role, and I think that that's part of my role is coming in and just providing that little spark, like going in and getting a rebound or stepping up on defense or taking a charge or whatever it is that my team needs me to do. But everyone picks me up in the sense of, like, they push me to be that guy that can step up in a moment like that, um, and I wouldn't be able to do it without them, like, pushing me into that position. And, Coach, last night there was a little run from the other team that caught – Brought a little stress, <laughs> um, but tonight there was none of that. I mean, how do you explain how the team, not playing at its very best, was still able to have a comfortable victory? 
Well, I, you know, at halftime we talked about what did we learn yesterday. So I think that's the biggest thing. The, the greatest lessons, or at least that, that feel great, are, are when you still win the game. And so yesterday was a great lesson for us. Um, in the NCAA tournament, no one is going to fold. Um, we came out in the third quarter, I think, with a just a little bit sharper mindset to execute, still get stops, um, and just kind of have that relentless pace that we like to play and really try to wear down the other team. So. Um, we were fortunate tonight um, that, you know, Messiah also wasn't, they had a few looks from the outside that could have fell, um, and that could have gone either way, and we were fortunate to get stops in those situations to seal the victory. I'm just curious, Jenny, you had 24 points in 14 minutes. 14 minutes? I think the minutes are wrong. Ah, okay. <laughs> I didn't I know feel the like 14 minutes. Yeah, I was like, I, was like, I, was like, I didn't, no, su I didn't, didn't, didn't sum her up. <laughs> how is that possible? Yeah. All right, well, then I won't ask how that's possible. Yeah, yeah. Um, so talk about your trip to Hope last year and what you take away from that coming into this year. You won't be going to Hope. They're not in your bracket. But you're probably going to Kentucky. Um, talk about what you took away from that last year, lessons learned, the experience, and how you translate that to this year. Yeah, I think everything we talked about this year is that we have experience. You know, my senior class, we've been to the tournament all three years. And then when we go to Hope, we played, we played the best. We won the national championship. So when you see what the best is and what it takes to win a national championship, you know, we still remember that game. You know, we still talk about them um, respectfully, of course. <laughs> but what we, what we learned is, like, that's what it takes to win a national championship. We were so close. And something about this team is that we claw and we scratch till the buzzer goes off. So just – and we remember that feeling. So just – Remembering all of that, having that experience, and just wanting it, wanting it, yeah. wanting it. Coach, from your time as a player at NYU, you know what it takes to win in the tournament and to mm -hmm. go deep. You saw hope last year. What were, what did this team need to add this year to go deeper? Well, we, it's been an interesting year. You know, we've had a few injuries, and you know, players taken off our roster that we kind of relied on last year with Jordan Janowski at point. Bell's done a seamless job stepping in, just giving us a whole different dynamic really out on the court. So I would say we're, we're really very different than last year, um, but the character of our team is the same and the core values and the way that they kind of represent the NYU sisterhood is the same. Um, you know, they just go out there and compete and I think they're, the, the great thing about this team is the league prepared us for these moments. The UAA going on the road at Emory, at Rochester, at Walsh, at Chicago. You know, we come into this situation and we feel like, you know, we've been road tested and we're ready for those battles. So um, I'm just really proud of our effort for 40 minutes. And, um, the, you know, the greatest feeling is being able to play another week, be at practice every day, you know, for another week with these guys because they're, they're an amazing group of women and we're just having a lot of fun right now. Last question for me. You guys have had a tremendous season. You only had two bumps in the road, both on the road trip to St. Louis and yeah. to Chicago. What did you guys learn from that? <laughs> Uh, not to pass a stomach bug around. <laughs> Good lesson to learn. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But really, you know, I, I mean, I think if, if nothing else, and, and we talk about it, these guys came to play in the UAA because of those moments, because yeah. of the travel, because of the road trips, and you know, the the league is the depth of the league is unbelievable. And one of the things is we've seen different styles of play, you know, from from teams one through seven on the board. So. Um, it's really prepared us for any anybody we see up next. Um, obviously, yesterday's game even was a complete anomaly for a t you know a style to play. But even that, like we'll take pieces from that and and learn and use them probably moving forward. Thanks, Coach. Thank you, guys. Congratulations. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. Thank you. All right.